I'm April Lutz and I am the principal at Third Avenue uh, School in Quest 1821 and we are so excited to get the school year started this year. Hello, I'm Jeanette Clampett, the new principal at Henry Leavenworth. This is a very challenging and exciting time in our community, but we are very happy to tell you that we're going to open our school safely for all students and to do so, we're going to have to ask some favors of, our, of you, our community. Um, we won't be allowed to let you into the building on the first day of school. Um, I know that you want to see inside the school and all of its happenings and things like that. But, and we will welcome you through a virtual tour. Hello Pioneer families, I'm Mrs. Short and I'm the principal at the Leavenworth Intermediate School for the 5th and 6th grade students. I wanted to welcome you to the new school year and remind you that we are starting the school year with a phase in. So that means that students whose last names begin with the letters A and K a through K will attend school for the first two weeks of school on Mondays and Wednesdays. Students whose last names begin with the letters L through Z will then attend school on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Hello Pioneers, it's Kevin Warner, Principal of Richard Warren Middle School. Hey, we're excited to start our new school year. Uh, we're starting on Monday with our hybrid model uh, with A through K on Monday and, and Wednesday and then L through Z on Tuesday and Thursday. We're excited to see you. The, the staff and administration here at Warren have been working really hard over the last two weeks. Hi, I'm Christy Jones, principal here at Leavenworth High School and the Pioneers are excited for a unique and interesting school year. We know that things are going to look a little different this year, but we're prepared for what's coming ahead of us. Hi, I'm Scott Kessler, principal here at Anthony Elementary School, and I'm just going to discuss a little bit of how the first of the school year is going to look with several of the new changes we have. One of the big changes are students are going to have to wear masks. They're going to wear masks uh, anytime they're in the building and anytime they're not eating. We are going to have mask breaks. They're not going to have to wear masks during breakfast or lunch but we are going to have to wear masks everywhere else in the building. I'm Craig Eidekab, it's a principal at David Brewer Elementary School, and I wanted to take a few minutes to show you one of our classrooms now. Um, as you can see with the desks in rows and all facing forward, that it is a change in what we've done in the past, and we wanted to do everything possible to keep our students safe and our faculty safe. In our new building, we have lots of room, and we are going to do our very best and be working really hard to keep the students socially distanced. Uh, we're taking a lot of measures with hand washing and sanitizing and doing all of the things um, as proposed through the health department and the Department of Education to keep our kids safe. So at arrival, every student will have their temperature taken by one of our staff. Good morning. Good morning, Ms. Sloan. Thank you. Let's head this way. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. In the classroom, we are trying to be mindful of the social distancing as well. Um, we've asked teachers to remove some of their personal items like soft-sided surfaces and some of their flexible seating um, that they've acquired over the years. So those things have all gone home and we've, we've situated the desks all facing forward or they're sitting at tables all facing forward. We've even set up some boundaries within the classroom. Staff at David Brewer and the district have been working hard over last spring and the summer to prepare schools and lessons for uh, students coming in. But we also, also want to recognize those of you who don't feel comfortable doing that and understand that we have a great plan to support you at home through this unknown time. Okay, it's, not, it's important not to come to school or work if you are sick. If you are having headaches, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, a temperature greater than 100, uh, please do not come to school. Also, if you have a cough that has just started two days before or and no history of asthma or allergies and it's a dry cough, please don't come to school. If you have any questions, please call your school and ask for the nurse and they can give you direction. Another thing that's going to be very important, we need every student to wash their hand at least once every hour. We are lucky most of our classrooms have sinks and so teachers can just rotate students through. However, we do have several different facilities, uh, however, we do have several different bathrooms located throughout the facilities. And at Anthony, in particular, there's a bathroom near each set of classrooms where they can wash hands, use restroom, and then go back to class. Teachers will keep track of who goes in and out of the classroom to include adults, teachers, staff, and anyone else from the district that might be visiting a classroom. 
So one of the things I wanted to point out is that because we share a campus with the 7th and 8th grade building, there are some new things going on with our drop-off and pickup policy. Um, if you have older siblings, uh, we are recommending that when you are dropping the older siblings off on the 7th and 8th grade side in the car loop, the 5th and 6th graders can hop out right there as well. We will have teachers from our building out there waiting to greet them, and there's a bridge right out there they can walk right across in through the playground doors, and teachers will be there to meet them as well. Um, if you have just 5th or 6th graders that you're dropping off, you can come in right up to the front and let them out. Bus riders will ride the same bus, obviously, as the 7th and 8th grade kiddos, um, and they'll come in through our cafeteria doors. To continue our safety precautions, we will be serving breakfast and lunch a little bit different. Breakfast will be a grab and go. Students will receive it on their way to their classroom. While they will go sit situate themselves at their desk, socially distanced, they will um, eat their breakfast, of course, with their mask removed. When they are finished, they'll put their mask back on. Um, lunch will be a cart delivery to the classroom where again they will be socially distanced in the classroom while they eat their lunch. Um, there will be opportunities for them to sanitize before and after lunch and then when they um, are finished they can put their mask on and visit quietly with their neighbors and do some socialization and there will be activities for some of our kids in the classrooms to keep themselves preoccupied while they wait for their other friends to finish. Here's an example of one of the uh, collaboration spaces. We got some nice new uh, uh, flex seating here. We got some high top tables over here. And we even got movable whiteboards for all our teachers to use. So we're excited to see you guys use these spaces this year. As you approach Longworth High School this year, you're gonna see several new things. We have a new parking lot to the south, which isn't quite ready yet, but it will be ready at the end of September, hopefully. We also have a new secure entry that is gonna bring a pop to our outside and a little change of what you're used to seeing in Longworth High. This is my isolation room. We have three kids can be here at any time. One on a cot and two, one here and one here. This is where your children will be brought throughout the day if they are displaying symptoms. Hi, I'm Matt Dedeke, Director of Facilities. With the recent COVID concerns, the Facilities Department has taken additional actions to make sure that our buildings are clean for you. Our department has always taken the pride and steps to make sure that the buildings are ready for staff and students upon their return. This year, we've taken some additional steps to make sure that we've checked all those boxes and complied with all the guidelines from the state. Today you're going to see some video of what we have done in practice and how we've been preparing for the return of staff and students. Additional steps from the custodial department include propping open restroom doors while maintaining privacy. This allows students and staff to use the restroom and wash hands without touching the door handles. You'll also find throughout the buildings the trash can lids have been removed in the hallways. This allows you to still dispose of your trash without touching the bin door. Social distancing is promoted by applying tape on floors around desks and in front of classrooms. This serves as a visual reminder for staff and students. Stickers have also been applied in our offices to reference our six foot distancing and remind our guests that may come in. Some steps that we have taken to increase our cleaning efficiency is to remove all loose carpets or area carpets and remove any soft furniture from the classroom. We also encourage staff to maintain a clutter-free work zone on their desktops and within the wall space of their classroom. We make sure that paper towel and soap dispensers are operational. We have provided foaming alcohol sanitizer at most entrances and in all classrooms. Cleaning supplies such as Suprox have been provided to all classrooms for touch-up cleaning in between class periods. This product can be misted on surfaces and left to dry. It's important to remind you when using this material that you set your atomizer on your spray bottle to a fine mist and lightly coat your desktops so that they do cover and still have time to dry rapidly. Playgrounds will continue to be an exciting part of our elementary schools. To encourage healthy play, our grounds team will make twice a day visits to each of our playgrounds to spray down with a quaternary disinfectant. Hi. Today I'm going to demonstrate an electrostatic sprayer 
one of the devices that we've purchased in preparation for the COVID cleaning process. This is one of our larger units that can clean up to 50,000 square foot in one tank fill. We also will be receiving smaller handheld units that will be dispatched to every one of our buildings. These will be used periodically for weekly cleaning initially and also be able to be reused as part of the uh, response to a actual case that we may have in a building. So I'm going to demonstrate what this looks like in action. So while um, we are not allowing any visitors inside the building, we want you guys to know that we're doing this to keep your, your kiddos safe. And so the less contact we have with uh, multiple people, the safer they're going to be. But that doesn't mean we're not going to be in communication with you. We've got Zoom, uh, social media, and all the other platforms that we can still stay in communication. We are looking forward to all of our on-site and in-class students showing up on Monday. Um, and we have situated the building and we are feel prepared to welcome you into it um, safely. Um, we also want to recognize that we have many of our families and students that have chosen to do so remotely. Um, our remote learners, please know that we are preparing just as substantially for you as we are our on-site learners and are excited and hope that you get as much from our rigorous remote program as our on-site kiddos. So we know that students got to choose this year to either be in person with us here at Leavenworth High or rigorous remote learning. Rigorous remote learning will look a little different than it did last year at the end of the year. Students will be expected to attend six and a half hours a day with our Leavenworth High teachers. As we go into this fall, we don't know what to expect. There might be changes, but most importantly, we want you to know that we do care about your students. Safety will come first. We will practice social distancing practicing hand washing, wearing a mask, overall good hygiene that we want to stress just as a daily part of school. Again, we want to thank you for giving us the privilege of having your students in our class. And as always, if you ever have any questions, please reach out to your school administrators, your school's front office, because any concerns you have are important to us and we want to help address those concerns as soon as we can. During these times, it is vital that we work together. Uh, we are super excited to get everybody back here. It's been a long time since we've seen smiling faces um, and we're going to do it safely to ensure um, the health of everybody. We know that this is different than any other year that we've had and that you all have a lot of questions um, and that parents and kids have a lot of questions and this has been different for teachers and for administrators as well please know that we have been working so hard to make this a great experience for your children, whether they are learning here in school or remotely. We know we have to do things differently in both settings, and we are working day and night to make this a great experience for them, regardless of everything that's happening. Please understand that things are changing daily, but our, our word of the year is pivot, and we are going to continue to work hard to deliver the very best education that we can for you. So I know this time of year is really challenging, but if you ask anybody the most profound moment of their life, it never started with something that was easy. It always started some, with something that was a challenge or a hardship, and that's that's what, what we're going through right now. So we're going to come out of this stronger and better than we were before. The Leavenworth High School administration and teaching staff are excited to see our students. We haven't seen them since March of last year and we are excited to have them back in our building. We've been working hard all summer as well as the last two weeks preparing lessons so that we are prepared for when our students come back. We know that this is exciting times. We also know that people are anxious, but we've done everything we can to make sure that it's always a great day to be a pioneer.